Okay, this is going to be a really brief explanation video on the microscope lab. There's going to be two. Uh, one, just to explain the lab in general, and the other to explain how to put together your lab report. Um, so this video is going to be right here. Uh, this is what the lab will look like. Um, you should start off by downloading L Lab Guide. And I won't actually download it and open it, but there it is, and I've already got it open here. Um, so you will notice that there are objectives here, and then I have, if I can find the right, oh, whoops, got to be in the right tab. There we are. Um, I have copied and pasted the objectives here and changed them just a little bit because there's some things that we're not doing because you're not actually going to be using a microscope. Um, and then one thing I added, which you do do today or this week and in the lab, but is not explicitly stated in the learning objectives. Um, so you are going to learn all of this stuff. As it says down here, um, this first part here, identify and determine the function of the main components of the microscope, that you're going to do just using the lab guide. It is not going to be represented by an activity in your lab report. This is just, here's a microscope, learn the parts, learn what they do. So you have this list of parts here, um, which each one has a function next to it, so you need to know all of those parts and their function. Um, this is the list of parts that you need to be able to identify on this chart right here. So on the quiz you will see something like this or maybe like this without all of the labels and I, I might ask you, you know, which part, it, you know, I don't know, I'm going to ask you questions about function and identification. Uh, some of which might be simple identification, some of which might be, you know, what is the function of the thing I'm pointing to now? Um, or, you know, which of the things on this microscope here uh, changes light level, something like that. So I'm going to get creative with the questions. Um, so you can't just look at this figure and know how to answer them. Uh, but study that figure, know all the parts, know what they do. And that's pretty much what you're using the lab guide for. Then I have made a lab report based on a lot of what you were supposed to learn in your lab guide. So then if you click here, it takes you to the lab report page, um, which I will show you how to do in a separate video. So that's it. I just got to figure out how to turn this off. There you go.